All right, so the underlying energy that we have here is the Knight of Wands. So this is um, someone that's very passionate, someone that's um, very creative, very fun, but they're not very um, not very reliable. Once they get bored, they kind of just kind of skip away and kind of go find something else to pursue, something else when they distract themselves. Um, you guys could this underlying energy is in regards to somebody that could be a an Aries Leo. Or Sagittarius, or it um, could be you guys wanting more fun in your life, or this is speaking of fun in this reading, or someone that's based off of fun. You guys could be very fun. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the reading here. In the heart of your reading, you have the world, and this basically speaks of a completion, a successful completion. Um, where this is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. However, it is crossed by the King of Pentacles. So somebody could be getting in the way of that, of your of the ending of a cycle. Um, and it could be someone that's a Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo, that's keeping you from ending a cycle. Um, or it could just be someone that's very organized, very, um, very grounded in their energy very earthy okay or they could have they could just be very um, um, very good with money and things like that okay in your foundation you have the wheel of fortune so the foundation is faded so this is a fate relationship it's all based off the universe so uh, whatever happens it's faded um, according to their foundation but this is what it's based off of, pretty much. This is what it's holding it up. It's fate. Now, in your um, in your present, you have the Empress. This is someone that can manifest anything that she wants. This is also someone that's very nurturing and very caring. This is divine feminine, the divine feminine. But um, this basically uh, means that. Um, you're taking care of someone at the moment and you're being very you're being seen as a mother figure you're taking care of everyone around you or this could be that you are manifesting at the moment or you are trying to manifest you're trying to create something for yourself and so and um, that's pretty awesome to have in your present um, but taking care of someone can definitely be happening at the moment as well um, the Ace of Pentacles is in your future, so a solid beginning is coming up, potentially. Um, so you have, so it's a basically a new beginning that has a solid foundation. That's awesome. And that's great, considering that the world is in the um, heart of your reading. Um, what's going to get you to where you want, or what you're having to deal with, is a is the Page of Pentacles, so a stable offer of some sort. Uh, maybe you're dealing with something like that, someone offering you something, or maybe slow and tedious work, um, boring work to um, to basically kind of get you to where you need to be, and it's and it's understandable because you know I mean every to get what you want you have to do something, even if it is boring and undesirable. <clears throat> In your feelings, you have death, so you feel like there's a change happening, a slow gradual change. Um, and it's it's taking a place inside of you internally. So you feel like maybe you're changing, you're transforming into something else. You're transforming how you feel and how you see things. Um, so this that that's so the death definitely is, um, talks about change happening internally and externally. Right now, in your outside factors, you have the three of cups. So this speaks of support, friends. So you're being surrounded by friends, a com uh, community, some something that's very supportive right now. So so you have a support, so you have support around you at the moment. In your hopes and fears, you have the three of pentacles. So you're hoping to plan for the future, maybe with someone, maybe regarding someone. And in your outcome, you have strength. So this is all about you guys staying strong and pushing through whatever issues that you guys are dealing with at the moment. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers in so we can get a better understanding of the reading. <clears throat> Clarify the Knight of Wands. Because that's the thing. Who is this? What is this? What is the? What is this regarding? What is this regarding? What is this regarding? Ah, those Knight of Cups. So maybe someone that's a younger fire sign energy, um, or someone that's very playful, someone that's kind of young, that kind of isn't very good at keep staying to something or keeping to a commitment. It's also someone that's focusing on love or focusing on how they feel. Maybe not paying attention and being considerate about how you feel. Or vice versa. This is the energy that's going on in the reading right now. So it's definitely has something to do with how someone feels or what someone wants. Um, in regards to this this Knight of Wands. Um, or this Knight of Wands wanting love. Alright, to clarify the world, we have the Four of Swords. So, taking a rest. So, was <laughs> so you guys basically the ending of this cycle. What's getting keeping you from getting this break, which is like that is kind of like the reward of getting if you know getting the cycle through and over with. It's like a break. So, so rest. Gee whiz! And what's what is the King of Pentacles? Why is what is the what is the King of Pentacles in regards to? Card is in regards to the King of Pentacles, rather. Uh -huh. The Page of Pen Page of Wands. So maybe you guys have received some news in regards to the King of Pentacles, and that's keeping you from a new cycle or maybe you're having this new cycle with a king of pentacles um like where you need or maybe based off of some rest um jeez i'm trying to think here you see i don't know if you guys seen the card properly i'm pretty jumbled today <laughs> sorry about that huh Ending of a cycle in regards to, so sleep, so because you've been resting, meditating, huh, and then, but what's keeping you from that, from the, from the ending of a cycle is a message from the King of, uh, or some news about the King of Pentacles. So maybe something between you and the person isn't over, or you want it, or something he's keeping you back, or regarding some news. Why is fate in the foundation? Okay, the first card that comes out is the higher friend. So traditions. This could also speak of age difference, um, but um, this also could speak of religion. Religious, religion, um, structure. So, so maybe this is fate, um, based on some sort of traditional level. Um, hmm. Why is the Empress in the present? What card can we get to um, explain the um, Empress in the present? The Hermit. So you, you guys are possibly manifesting um, something um, in regards to having some time to yourself to think things through. Um, so, 
So maybe because you guys went and soul searched and figured out what you guys wanted and what you guys what felt missing to you guys within within your soul, you're able to manifest it now. That's awesome, guys. It's freaking awesome. You taking that step. You went off and figured out what you wanted. You figured out what you needed. And now you're manifesting. That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, this Ace of Pentacles in the future. What do we have here? Ah, the Hanged Man. This speaks of waiting. Uh, a change of a different perspective. Um, waiting for a new perspective to come in. Um, so, it's a kind of in limbo as well. So, maybe the Ace of Pentacles. So, in order to get... So, there will be some... Um, some waiting in regards to the Ace of Pentacles. So, when you start this new beginning... Um, either... It, this new beginning is going to eventually like get you to a new beginning, a, a new. Um, it's just going to be a start of waiting for an, an, to see the world in a different perspective, or maybe, um, or maybe you're getting this new risk. You're getting this new um, stable beginning in the future, it, because you have waited um, uh, for this new perspective. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the crowning energy? Why is this Page of Pentacles in the crowning energy? Okay. It's the Queen of Cups. So this is someone that's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, someone that's, or that someone's very in touch with their emotions. Um, very intuitive and very, um, very good at controlling expressing how they feel um but this is also someone that's very loved up at the moment and someone that's very much in love this is a lover as well so um maybe this is starting a new beginning with um a solid beginning or solid offer or you're ex you've extended a solid offer you want to extend a solid offer to someone that you find in love or you find uh, that you love um or some, or maybe you're having to deal with an offer uh, from someone that you love, or someone that's looking to that's past feelings for you, maybe. Um, hmm. that's a difficult one, guys. That's difficult. Yeah, let me just move this just a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Huh, okay. What is the death in the feelings? But yeah, the crowning energy seems like someone has offered you love, and explains it explains the um the clarifications for the Knight of Wands. Maybe this Knight of Wands is, is offering love to you guys, um, and it's in regards to you being the love of his the love of his or her life, and that's what this stable offer is. Someone that's proven to be kind of unreliable, kind of unreliable is offering love. Hmm. What is the death in the feelings? Death in the feelings. Death in, death in feelings. Oof. Oops. Sorry. Sorry about that. Huh. Page of Pentacles and the Empress. So maybe because you've had this news. And because you you know you were nourishing you're nurturing now you're changing and transforming from this. Like you feel like there's a slow change in regards to some news, and and um and being someone that was very caring and very very nurturing. Maybe you're taking care of some of some people. And you've gotten some some news, and now we feel like an inner change is happening. Okay, what is the three of cups and the outside factors? Three of cups and the outside factors. This is three of cups and the outside factors. Three of cups 
the outside factors. Aha! Uh -huh. So, the Three of Cups is regarding support of a new beginning. So there's a new beginning in your environment right now. And you've got some friends and, some, and a support group and surrounding you. That's just your environment right now. That's awesome. Um, three of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. Ooh. So planning for the future in regards to some past, to the past. Huh. This also speaks of a soulmate connection as well. So maybe you're wanting to make, you want, we're trying to make plans for the future with someone that you have a soulmate connection to, or someone from the past. Or are you trying to make futures based, make future plans based on the past? It's kind of contradicting because you're planning for the future and you have a past card here. Huh. And what is your outcome? Strength, what is strength? Strength. Strength in the outcome. What is the strength? What is strength in regards to? So strength in regards to. Oh my gosh. Ah, five of wands. Strength in regards to conflict, challenges. It feels like you guys, you, you feel like you're being challenged at the moment. So maybe this is a challenge to get to your successful completion. Whoever this page, whoever this King of Pentacles is, he's kind of, it's keeping you from your, um, from your, um, successful completion. You're kind of having to work with that. You're kind of trying, you kind of have to, um, use the power that you have within yourself to manifest for a stable beginning, a new beginning in the future. Um, and then underneath that, underneath that you have the Nine of Pentacles. S sorry about that, everyone. Uh, my audio, my video got interrupted just for just brief, briefly. But going back into this, um, you have the Nine of Pentacles and the bottom of the clarifying deck. And someone in the comments said something about it not being a bad thing. Um, and it's, she's, she or she was very right. Being Having independence and having um, ab um, abundance is not a bad thing. And you guys feeling good within yourselves, knowing Aquarians, that's perfect. That's a good thing to know. It's a good thing to have. Um, and um, I think, honestly, I, I was definitely wrong for saying that you could be lonely and single but i mean you can't nothing wrong with being single and there's nothing wrong with having you know empowerment in yourself and that is all that's about so let me go ahead and um go ahead and give you guys a summary of your reading um so i think i already gave you a summary okay i'm going to go ahead and pull some romantic angels for you guys Attraction. Interesting. You attract romantic. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Wow. That's wonderful, guys. So perhaps this changes um something you guys are enjoying. In this time of manifesting, from knowing and from some deep soul searching, maybe that's, that's a good thing that's going on with you guys right now. And this a sense of independence is really good as well. Okay, love reading, Aquarius. Love reading for Aquarius this week. Love reading for Aquarius this week. Holy moly. Wow. The first card that you guys have gotten is Chaos and Conflict. It's 33 there. You guys can see it. 
and then tick tock those are the two that came out for you guys and that's 30 which is so interesting Also, guys, he also had poised. So I'll just read the essential meanings for poised and TikTok, and then we'll read um, the or the romantic re the romantic message for uh, chaos and conflict. Okay. So a lot of cards here. Wow. You guys are the only people that had three um, oracle cards come out for you, you guys. So let's go, let's, let's do this, 33. Okay, the, the romantic, me sorry, the relationship message for chaos and conflict. Um, stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incense, the incense need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your, self of, your, your sense of self, and what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to find. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to a higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a better place than before for the storm will be the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can be can become electric and enlightened. Always better than before if you use this time constructively. Oh wow. Okay. Now for Thirty. The essential means for thirty is timelessness, divine timing, and immeasurable time. I'll read the oracle message really fast too. Actually, the humans create time, uh, created time. Everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if it? it what if that's? Sorry. What if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creative beauty, chaos, and order, was happening now in a glorious timelessness? What you, uh, sorry, you have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire. So release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always showing up when you need them right on time. And now, boys, which is at 40, 48. Wow, guys, if you add 48, that's 12. And if you add 1 to 2, that's 3. You guys are, whoa, 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 interesting. A lot of threes right now. A lot of threes. <clears throat> okay. The essential means for placed. Being ready. Bringing something to light. Being at your best. Confidence. Let me read the oracle message to you just really fast. You can be assured that you are ready for anything right now. You know what you need to do. Your skills are sharp. Are sharp. You've put to this place. You've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge, and you sense a new phase of life about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an um, auspicious time to begin new things. 